day again. Um, I thought I would take uh, some time out to actually talk about my illness because I feel like I haven't really done that and it's kind of a full-time job explaining it all the time to people online. I spend a lot of time online. So um, I'm going to talk a bit about it here. Um, now I have some things I want to talk about. Just I don't have uh, or I don't have any, I used to have some of them, but I no longer have some of the strongest signs of schizophrenia uh, or would see, see I'm, I'm looking it up as I speak because I'm having a hard time keeping track of everything. Uh, there's something called positive and negative symptoms. The positive symptoms would be, uh, you know, hallucinations, delusions, that sort of thing, while the negative symptoms would be more social difficulties, um, not delusions, but yeah, different sorts of, uh, yeah, blunted emotion, um, that sort of thing. Um, the thing about me is I almost have purely negative symptoms, which is why I usually come across as relatively normal. Um, but I, I do have I do have difficulties with with life and dealing with uh, with everyday stuff basically. Um, some one of the main things is uh, a feeling of ambivalence. Like imagine you you everyone has had that feeling like they want to do something but they're not really sure because they want to do something else at the same time. Imagine having that feeling about nearly everything you do. Everything becomes sort of a fight with yourself. Like right? um, a good, uh, a good picture of. I don't know if you smoke, but if you've ever smoked, you've been addicted to nicotine, and you know the feeling. Especially if you've tried to stop. You're sitting in there. You want to stop. You don't want to smoke. Yet you still go out there and do it because you 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 feel like it basically. Uh, but it's still conflicting. You don't really want to, yet you want to. I have that feeling about nearly everything I do, basically. Uh, um, so it becomes sort of a struggle, and I don't need a lot of different assignments to get swamped and become stressed out, which leads to my second main difficulty, which is what I call my episodes. Um, when when people get stressed over doing regular stuff, usually it goes away when they're done with it. Mine doesn't. Uh, it sticks with me for a while and builds up. And usually when it reaches a threshold and crosses that, uh, I, I sort of freak out and can't deal with stuff anymore. I, I, get, I feel a lot of rage. I can get violent. Usually, actually never with other people because I can feel it coming so I always avoid being near people when it happens, like go out in the forest, punch a tree, um, but never, I've never had serious injuries from it, but that's what happens and I have a lot of anxiety about it because it's not a very pleasant feeling and I, I, so I actually get scared about it. I, when it's happening I get scared, I don't want it to happen. Um, and so it leads me to not perform many, I, I don't do a lot, because when I do a lot, I'm afraid it's going to happen, uh, which it does occasionally. Um, and when I lived at home, of course my parents and, and people around me would try to keep me uh, doing, doing regular things, just going out, doing my schoolwork, going to work, that sort of thing. And that would build up and I would almost constantly be in that sort of episode mood, that sort of rage. It would stick with me the whole time, making it very, very difficult to deal with people. So I would just withdraw and, and stick to myself, basically. I lived in a forest for a couple of months, more than anything else. Didn't, not that I didn't have a place to stay, but I just couldn't deal with being home with people. So I, I just sat out there. Okay. Yeah. Um, what what really drove me out there was the fact that when I was in that constant sort of rage 
that I felt when I was at home. I started actually also hearing voices and, and I didn't see things. I didn't, but I had audio hallucinations. Um, I would hear my dad's car in the driveway. I would hear him calling me. I would hear him arguing with me, yelling at me. So I went to my mom's place and lived with her instead. Um, but after a while, the same thing started happening because well, she was trying to keep me going as well, keep me doing normal stuff. Um, and in the end, yeah, I went to the forest. It, it wasn't really, it wasn't really a way to live. It wasn't, I couldn't do that forever. Obviously, I was stealing everything. That's how I lived. Uh, I stole food, food and drink, and that's about it. Um, so I, I got to the hospital where it's a calm environment. I don't have to do anything that I don't want to. I have people to talk to. I have people that understand it when I tell them I can't talk right now. And it's actually helped me a lot. So now I can, I can be with my parents again in, in short periods of time. I can hang out with my friends. It's, it's, it's gotten way easier. Um, but I, I'm still sort of, I don't want it to come back. So um, I'm working on it. Uh, so right now I'm delusion free. I like to think at least. Uh, I still get my episodes rarely when I have to deal with uh, tasks that stress me out, stuff, paperwork with uh, the welfare and all that stuff stressed me out so much. Uh, I had some episodes about that. Uh, and the ambivalence is definitely still there, though I, I can't fight it, because I do know what the right choice is most of the time. It's just that I have this opposing feeling of not wanting to do it anyway. And that's sort of the best way I can explain it. Um, and I hope that sort of clears up some things uh, about it. So, um, yeah, I'm not a typical schizophrenic, and they're having, they're having fun diagnosing me and trying to figure out how to deal with it, but my diagnosis is, 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 is schizophrenia uh, for now, which is a wide, uh, it's a broad diagnosis, and it's, I think it's mostly just because they need something to stick on me to keep me in here. That sounded semi-delusional, I know. But anyway, that's how I feel and that's the way it manifests in me and I hope I helped you understand it a bit more if you wanted to. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you around maybe.